you're feeling a little deflated, erectile dysfunction getting you down, well, you're not alone. Million of men face this issue. But listen up, because on today's video, we're going to break it down on how you can get out of erectile dysfunction. Can you really get your mojo back? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to give you some strategy that you can do right now to get your confidence back in the bedroom again. Stick around, Jen, because we're going to get you all pumped. All right, let's dive into this right now. So can you heal erectile dysfunction? Well, yes. And the earlier you do it, the better you're going to be. It's kind of like a car. If your car is starting to show some symptoms, a light is going off. If you take it to the mechanic, they could probably get it fixed fairly quickly. But if you wait until the red engine goes off, the smoke goes on the engine and it doesn't start again. And if you bring it to the mechanic, they may fix it. They may not. You may need to get a new car. It's the same thing with your body. Your body is kind of like a car. You should treat it like a car when you're starting to see some symptoms. And for a man, your erection is really the first symptom that your body is not doing well. It is not in balance. So that should be your barometer. That's your ruler right there. When your erection is not working well, let's look inside. What's going on with you? And the first thing is do not take that ED pill because when you take that ED pill, it's like just putting on a Band-Aid on an infection because that infection will only festers and will go deeper until a point where you can't treat it with a Band-Aid anymore. You have to probably amputate it. Well, what's the first thing you can do to heal your erection? The first thing is what is flowing in your blood vessels because ED means that you're not getting enough blood flow to your penis but what is floating in your blood it's the food that you eat anytime you eat food it gets digested in your stomach and then it goes to your intestine and then you start absorbing it but that goes to your blood that's what floating in your blood is what you eat so you are what you eat in a way and your erection is what you eat if you think about it that way because your diet can really affect the quality of your blood flow. And to get a good erection, you need to get a good blood flow. So what thing should you avoid? So that way it will decrease your blood flow. Number one, you should avoid any type of processed food, like any food that is in a bag or in a box. Believe me, I'm married to a man that loves to eat chips love to eat bread, love to eat crackers, and he liked to drink sodas. Well, you want to eat what Mother Nature gives you, at the least. So start with one thing, drop the chips, drop the sodas. That will go a long way. And then the next thing is just one or two pieces of bread a day, then try to eat multi-grain bread. And the red meat, maybe just have that twice a week or once a week instead of every day. Start simple. I'm not trying to tell you live like a monk or go vegan or anything. Just start simple. Just kind of moderate what you eat as in your chips and try not to eat after 8 p.m. at night. Try to start holding your fast. Like don't eat anything after 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. That's a 12 hour fast. That will go a long way because by doing that, you are limiting the amount of food that you eat in a day and also allowing your body to kind of clean itself. So diet is very important if there are the six things I talk about today. And one thing you need to do is your diet, okay? If you need to change anything, just do less chips, less sodas, and less bread. Just start with that for now. And number two, is that yes you know it is more movement just more movement like let's say add some what type of movement in your day and especially harder now when we're sitting in front of the computer or we're in the car because we're commuting or we're, you're flying a lot get more movement like if you're parking try to park far away so you can walk in do squats 
when you're sitting in front of the computer, add some type of movement in your day. That's about 30 minutes. You don't have to go to the gym. You can just even walk in place or go outside for a walk because when you go outside for a walk, you're connecting with nature and that will decrease some of the stress as well. But just some type of movement, like take the stairs instead of the elevator, or try to park far away. Just think about movement, movement, movement. Number three is stop smoking, stop porn, and moderate your alcohol, meaning you shouldn't probably drink more than 12 to 14 drinks a week. Believe me, my husband liked to drink his bourbon, and ever since he has his heart issues at this point, he's about probably four drinks a week at this point, maximum six drinks as well. Not to mention that you're going to have whiskey dick if you drink a lot for that night. And believe me, when you cut down your processed food, such as like the donuts, the fried food, and the chips, it will go a long way as well in healing your ED. Now, number four is just know that the brain is a larger sexual organ. So when you're in the moment, you have to be there as well in your mood and in your foreplay. You can't just expect your body to get an erection on the spot. You have to know that your brain is a larger sexual organ. If thing doesn't start in here, nothing goes down below. What am I trying to get at? I'm trying to get at is use your five senses that you have. What are the five senses? Visual, smell, taste, sound, and touch. Use those to stimulate your arousal and therefore your desire and that will kick off everything in the brain to make the nerve and the hormone start transmitting down so that way your erection can jumpstart. So number five, something you can do right now, try to get at least seven hours of sleep at night because when you're sleeping at night, especially from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., your body makes testosterone. Your body can heal physically and psychologically and your stress level goes down. And I know it's challenging for those that work the night shift and it's hard for you to do that, but at least you can make it up in the daytime as much as possible because if you don't get enough sleep you're not going to make enough testosterone and as you get older especially after the age of 35 your testosterone level drop by one percent a year more so that you need to sleep more so that way you can make testosterone at night time and number six is decrease your stress. So I'm not, my, listen, my husband is a guy that says no yoga, no meditation for him. What I'm trying to say is how do you decrease your stress? Spend time with family, friends, your guy friend, do stuff, go fishing. My husband loves fishing. He loves playing tennis. He plays tennis and he does fishing. That kind of reduces your stress. And that's how you spend time with other people talk on the phone the old-fashioned way now we text all the time now you get on the old-fashioned on the phone and just connecting with people as well and then on top of that go for a walk outside with mother nature when you're with mother nature you automatically decreases your stress because the sunlight shines on you that decreases your stress level as well just smelling the fresh smell of the trees and the flowers and the air is also very soothing the other way is breathing box breathing what box breathing is hold your breath for four seconds breathe into your nose for four seconds hold it for four seconds breathe out for four seconds so that will relax you right away so even if you just do it for two minutes just close your eyes and do it for two minutes you will feel your body relaxing your mind slowing down as well too now these are the strategies you can do right now to heal your ed and that doesn't involve taking a pill because when you take a pill you're hijacking your natural response to get an erection i know it does help but know that 30 percent of men do not respond to the pill because the pill is just a band-aid because down the road your ed isn't going to fix itself you have to do something to fix your ed and 
it, it's going to involve hard work, guys. It's not easy. It's not a pill that you take to make it go away. It's not a supplement that you take to make it go away. As with anything like weight loss, anything that's important, anything that's in your health, you have to put the work in to do it. But it's just really just lifestyle changes. It's like a conscious decision to eat less processed food. I'm not saying be vegan or anything like that. I'm just saying maybe to eat more, less of sugar and focus more on vegetables and fruit and fish and chicken and just incorporating activities in your day. Just simple shift like that because it's something as important as your sex life and it's an important part of your life. You want to make a priority and work towards that goal. So yes, you can heal your erectile dysfunction and yes, it is never too late. I have seen men with having had ED for 17 to 20 years and they now start to have morning wood again because they made all these changes. But it takes time, guys. It doesn't just happen overnight. It takes sometimes months to get there. I correlate erectile dysfunction just like weight loss. You do the hard work to get the result, but you still need to do the work to maintain the weight to be off. It's the same thing. And the strategy that I've just given you on diet, exercise, avoiding smoking, porn, and excessive alcohol, and just tap into your brain and just using your senses and sleeping and then de-stressing. It's doing things to spend time with people that matters to you. These goals are a long way. Now, men, you have your sexual organ to tell you what's going on in your body. I wish a woman has that, actually, so we can actually have a, a ruler sense of how we're doing as well. So having said that, I really hope you enjoy the today episode. I am very passionate about this topic and that I will be launching a five-day challenge where we will give you tidbits and action item that you can start right now to go towards your sexual confidence because yes you can get and have sexual confidence and having said that check out my modern man club it is a discreet and safe space where i coach you and we go in depth into how to get your sexual confidence again and get your mojo back so check it out at noedman.com and I will see you in the next episode, Modern Man. Are you struggling and frustrated in finding a solution for ED? Well, I have just the thing for you. It's called the Modern Man Club, led by yours truly, Dr. Ann. Together, we're redefining male sexuality and embracing a holistic approach to overcoming ED without medication or surgery. I will provide a protective environment for a community and proven strategy to overcoming ED. It is a safe place, expert coaching by me and my team. We provide holistic approach to overcoming ED and an empowering community of men with ED supporting one another and lots and lots of educational resources. Visit mensexualityclub.com at the link here on my right and connect with us and reclaim control over your sexual health. I'll see you there. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you, and I would love to give you the most incredible free gift designed to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.